got my Chinese shroud. And I got my Chinese intake boot mountain. And I even got the choke lever, which is pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, we'll use the choke lever. Um, even got the uh, carburetor boot. Even the mountain, uh, the bolts and the nuts for the um, the boot. Well, they go in to here. Let's go ahead and put those in there. Oh, there it goes. All right. We don't have a. Uh, yes, we do. I just have to get it. That's what we're looking for. Look at that. Yeah. I forgot how this goes on, to be quite honest. <laughs> Dogs are acting some stupid. Somebody goes by the house that so they think they have to bark at somebody, you know. Uh, assert their dom by nuts. Okay. Right here's our boot. It goes on like so. We can get it. There we go. Only thing I don't like about this is it did not come with a. Um, what do you call that? A, uh, a clamp that goes around the cylinder. So that right there is going to cause an air leak for me. I do know that. Let's, uh, let's take it back off. And we're going to have to flip it upside down anyway because it's on the wrong. I believe it is. I think it goes like this into that little slot right over there. Trying to spread the big on thing out so it'll stay in there. Okay, now how do I get that trigger to move? It's not doing it like it's supposed to. Just 
scratch that. Out. I need a new mounting spot. Okay, I'm gonna modify it. Throttle cable. And you can do it with wire. It's just, you don't wanna do it, but it's the only way, really. Usually try to get something like this and cut a piece of it off. Really what you need to do first before you do it is you need to bend it. Well, eh, I can do it here in a second. Need to um, cut the green stuff off of it first. I've done this before with a 394. It wasn't a great idea. I didn't really want to do it, but it's the only option I really actually had. And I didn't know that you could possibly change the throttle cable because I was just starting. And most of the saws that I messed with didn't even have, they have linkages, they didn't have cables. So. I cleaned up all my garbage today. Cleaned up all my boxes. Uh, the only thing I don't have is a box for um, Ansel. I need to get him a box. All right, let's spin this. I got to smash it. Oh, the, the reason why he's barking is that he's scratching his back. He's an older dog. I know somebody's going to ask that. You know, why does he keep barking or whatever? But um, that, that's honestly the reason why. Uh, if you guys have uh, older dogs, you you know why. Um, for some reason, they just, when they get older, they scratch their back a lot. Even, uh, even bigger dogs do it. Um, I really honestly don't know why they do it. They just do it. I need to open that back up a little tiny bit. before sing it I'll get you guys closer there let's look at it right there you see you pinch it but you got that knob up there which actually goes in right here in this little plastic piece but if you uh, you pinch it you can actually go up above it and take the slack out of it. Uh, the bad part about doing this is, is it will break your throttle.
got a problem. And I don't know what it might be. Sure, there's enough gas in there, so that could be a problem too. Okay. Okay, I got it running. I just ran out of fuel. I took those limiter caps off the uh, carburetor, and she came alive. Um, I had a flooding issue first, and uh, overcome that. I got that part, but tomorrow I'm gonna get some uh, some fuel. Then uh, we're gonna cut with this beast. Just with that uh, I know if I did the, uh, the exhaust in the uh, the intake port uh, I could get a little bit more out of that uh, but I'm actually happy with that uh, I'm, I mean I'm I, I was used to running a saw like this every day day in day out when I work oh by the way I'm actually going back, going back to tree work so it is what it is, man. You gotta do what you gotta do to find a job. Uh, but anyway, uh, I did run one of these saws day in and day out. And uh, I'll be honest with you, they didn't have that kind of power. Well, not really. I mean, you couldn't put a 28 inch bar on it and run it like that. Uh, but I'm not done with it yet. I wanna, uh, I wanna keep going with it as far as I can and uh, see how it does. I know that, uh, if I change that cable, uh, it'll idle. But the way it's wanting to go up, it's wanting to go up and come back down too far, and it's not wanting to actually stay open like it's supposed to on the carb. But um, yeah, <laughs> I hope that made sense. I, I, it probably didn't. I, I can't get it to, to stay open on the idle. It will not do it because of the of the cable. But until the next video, you guys have a wonderful day.